Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Friday, July 13th, 2018. If you're superstitious, it is Friday the 13th. If you're not, it's Friday. Yay, time to get ready for the weekend. Well, we have temperatures this morning ranging from the lower to mid-60s outside of your urban areas, mid to upper 60s everywhere else. Not too bad in terms of the humidity. It's a little high, but nothing that's out of the ordinary for mid-July. And temperatures today are going to be rising up into the mid to upper 80s, which is pretty much where we should be for this time of year. So overall, not a bad day at all. So if you're heading out to the beach, today is a good day to do so. But watch out for that riptide as it is still a bit strong out there. On the surface map, high pressure is in control. We'll be moving over the region today, providing some tranquil weather conditions. Keep an eye on these cold fronts, though, for this weekend as they'll be diving south, not really producing much in way of relief. In fact, temperatures are going to be pretty much around 90 once you get away from the immediate coast. But they will lead to the potential for an isolated shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon that we're going to have to keep an eye on as we move on through this upcoming weekend. On the radar, pretty much high and dry, not much really going on. This is just pretty much what we call ground clutter. Definitely have to watch out for maybe a little bit of mischief right along the coast via a sea breeze front, but overall not much really going on. And on the latest visible infrared satellite picture, we'll zoom in here, and you'll see it's pretty much high and dry. Now notice the cloud pattern here is dropping from north to south. We are on the edge of what's called a heat ridge, and if you have any family out in the plains, they definitely know what you mean by heat ridge with temperatures basically around 100 degrees, and that's the temperature, not even the heat index is pushing into the 110s. So it's brutally hot there. Well, we're on the edge of that, and so what's happening is that we're getting these little disturbances dropping south and basically moving through our region. Now, we're on the edge of this heat dome, so that means temperatures are around 90 degrees. Again, pretty much what you would expect from the middle of July. But what this does is lead to the threat for an isolated shower or thunderstorm as these disturbances that are moving through the northern plains drops through our neck of the woods in the afternoon. Now for today, because high pressure is right over the region, not much is really expected. Pretty much some sky cloud cover, and that's about it. However, for the rest of this upcoming weekend, the high pressure system will be off the coast, we'll have more of a southwesterly wind, and that's why we'll be at the threat for an isolated shower or thunderstorm each afternoon and really throughout the entire forecast period for this weekend. And also there'll be a threat for some locally dense fog. So let's dive into this forecast for today. High pressure and control, sky cloud covers expected. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 80s on the immediate coast, mid to upper 80s everywhere else. For tonight, watch out for some fog developing, possibly locally dense, but that is pretty much about it. Lows in the mid-60s. For tomorrow afternoon, watch out for a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. There's one of those disturbances diving through. Now, these thunderstorms are not expected to be severe, but they will be capable of some very heavy downpours. Wind gusts over 40 miles per hour, possibly a little bit of small hail as well. Temperatures will rise into the lower to mid 80s on the immediate coast, upper 80s to lower 90s everywhere else. And with the increase in the humidity, it will feel more like the mid 90s. So definitely you want to hit to the shore. On Sunday, same scenario again. Fog in the morning, sky clouds in the afternoon. Watch out for an isolated shower or thunderstorm diving south from the Poconos. And temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows, upper 80s to lower 90s for much of the region, lower to mid 80s on the immediate coast. On Monday and Tuesday, same scenario once again. Hot and humid, areas of fog in the morning, an isolated shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 70s for lows and Upper 80s to lower 90s for much of the region. Watch out for a few mid-90s in a few of those urban areas like around Philadelphia or Newark. And also along the immediate coast, lower to mid-80s are expected. Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, a cold front will be moving through the region with widespread showers and thunderstorms. Followed by clearing skies towards the afternoon. Look for lows on Wednesday in the lower to mid-70s. Highs in the lower to mid-80s along the coast. Upper 80s to around 90 degrees away from the coast. On Thursday, high pressure and complete control, a little bit lower humidity, loads in the mid to upper 60s, highs in the mid to upper 80s, and on Friday, an area low pressure will approach the region. Look for the threat for scattered showers and thunderstorms, 
Temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows and lower to mid 80s for highs. That is your forecast discussion for today. I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino, and as always, stay safe out there.